Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Dude Man Bro, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and weekend. Uh, it's been absolutely beautiful here in good old Michigan. I uh, cannot complain whatsoever. We've had um, great weather, great, um, you know, stock updates, and I literally, any better, I would have to sit on my hands to keep from clapping. Uh, so... Anyway, this is going to be uh, an update video with a few buys that I'm going to be doing next week and a few updates on some IPOs that are coming out uh, and some actually some pretty big stock news for next week. I think we're going to have another very volatile stock week and I'm going to be definitely watching a lot of stocks. I'm not going to be taking as many risks, especially because we've been seeing some very bearish days. I'm going to be going after more... Uh, less risky plays for sure uh, but anyway let's jump into this the first thing I'm gonna bring up is Oracle uh, and we actually just recently had some pretty big news about this uh, this stock and Microsoft were actually in talks to buy TikTok, and we just got some recent news uh, a little bit it's about an hour ago now Oracle has leapfrogged Microsoft and is most likely gonna be the buyer of TikTok. Oracle 2 was on a little bit of a spree, especially, you know, it's been, it was up a few, uh, a little bit for the last week or so. Uh, it was, it was in at a little bit under $50, but, um, we've seen a little bit of a decline. Yeah. I, I think that next week this is going to open up crazy, uh, especially on the daily. We're at about 33% on the RSI line. Uh, not quite oversold yet, but we're right there. But I think once the market opens pre, uh, pre-market and everything, this, one is going to shoot up crazy um, between this and Microsoft. And there's going to be an up and down situation going on between Microsoft, also Walmart and and this stock and Oracle, of course. Uh, we're going to see a lot of volatility. Uh, I do think that Oracle is actually a very good company long term, too. Uh, so it's actually not a bad stock to get into and just hold for a little while. I think it's going to go crazy for the next few weeks or a month or so though uh, especially with this new news it might not be the best time to get in but you could see some crazy 20 30 percent gains on, on this stock especially with uh, the you know the open on Monday so keep an eye out on that one it could be a crazy day trade or at least a swing trade going into next week so next one I want to talk about is stock ticker IMMU and this one has actually been let's bring up the article Gilead actually has a deal to buy it for $20 billion based off of, uh, you know, an article that was just released this weekend. Uh, I think that this, we could see almost 100% gains, um, if not 50, you know, 50% at lowest, I think, uh, to 100% gains on, on this one. Uh, they're a huge company, both are huge companies, a couple billion dollar deal. Uh, we had a lot of sell-off on, on Friday, uh, but with this new news, I could definitely see it opening it up 50 plus definitely Monday it, it's been doing a little bit bad in the last few days or the last few weeks uh, especially with like Friday like I said um, all that selling off normally with deals like this we're gonna see some huge buys and like I said I, I think it's gonna have no problem opening it up all you know 50 plus and we might even see it like I said a hundred percent so we might even see it touch 75 to 80 dollars uh, tomorrow I think this is only going to be, like I said, a day trade or if not, like a two to three day uh, swing trade. But it could be a very crazy one. Uh, like this article says, like $88 a share. It's definitely undervalued by half. Uh, we should see some crazy, crazy gains and some crazy news. That's why I'm kind of holding off on a lot of my penny stock bias. Uh, there's a few out there that have some crazy potential. Uh, but how volatile and uh, the stimulus package has still not been released or even agreed or approved on, uh, I think we're going to still see volatile volatility in the stock market and we're not going to see very many very, very positive days. I think that that's why uh, everyone, as much as you can, try to not go crazy on um, your losses. Uh, that's why I've definitely pulled back on a video I did a little while ago that normally... 
on the stocks that I have a lot of money into. Sometimes I'll, I'll do 5 to, to 15% to even actually at the most about 20%. I'm willing to lose before um, definitely just dropping off. Uh, I definitely rolled that back to about five to ten percent max that I'm willing to, to lose, especially for how um, volatile the stock market has been lately. I think it's good to definitely cash out of your losses as soon as possible with uh, what's going on lately, and uh, that kind of brings me into to my spiel. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, these are kind of some of my picks and some of my watches for next week. Uh, I'm gonna have a bunch more videos coming out next week uh, I actually have the whole week off and we're gonna see some uh, some pretty crazy things I think next week like I said I think we're gonna be seeing some bearish days for sure and we might actually uh, force the hand of Congress maybe actually even to provide us with the stimulus package soon I don't think we're gonna see a crazy amount of gains until that happens unfortunately so that's why I kind of uh, have a lot of liquid cash right now and I don't have a whole lot invested in a bunch of stocks. So, but anyway, that leads me on to my next one, and that is Snowflake. It's an uh, IPO that is actually going to be dropping next week, nine sixteen. So, um, not to be confused with the term Snowflake to mean a uh, butt hurt or whatnot. <laughs> This one is kind of crazy, and there's a lot to go on on this one. I think the first day of trading this one is going to be super volatile. My plan to play this one is going to be day one buy-in, and then most likely sell out by the end of the day, if not maybe hold till the next day. Set, set your stop limits for sure, because I think that we're going to see some crazy volatility on this one too. Uh, they are a cloud storage company. And they have been doing really great in the last couple of years. They've doubled, almost doubled uh, their um, clients. They've also have um, gained the uh, attention of Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett's company. They've invested a lot of money, a couple hundred million dollars into uh, Snowflake. A few in institutions are actually putting money into uh, this company. Uh, they're they're seeing a lot of great. Uh, financials in the last couple of years um, they almost if you read this almost doubling in, in, in the last year their revenue I mean there's a lot of crazy things that could possibly happen with this one and there's a lot of articles uh, like I say uh, offering about 28 million shares basically midpoint 2.2 billion billion and uh, the market cap could be um, about 24 billion uh, at the high end their stocks are going to be about seventy-five to seventy-eight dollars a share, so it's kind of this has got kind of on a lot of things going on. Like I said, their competitors are Amazon and Google Cloud, are the biggest ones. So much room to to build, and you know, cloud storage is is becoming a super big market here. Though the increase in the last few years have been insane, and there's plenty of room for other companies to come in and provide. But there's also other companies other than Ber uh, Berkshire or Hathaway. And Salesforce is actually in, in it too, a couple uh, million. So on top of that, we also it's going to be valued at roughly about twelve point four billion dollars. Pretty big value uh, valuation for a company, honestly. Salesforce is investing about four hundred seventy nine million. Then also Warren Buffett is also putting in a lot of money too into this this company. Warren Buffett has not put in a lot of money into a lot of companies. So if he's really involved in this company, he thinks this company's going to do crazy things. He's the goat of stock trading. You know, he's basically been able to outbeat the market every single time, and it's been outrageous. I fully believe that he, you know he understands what's going on in this and I think it's going to get a lot of um, momentum that way too. This is another article to uh, cloud storage market to grow at a uh, compound annual growth rate. That's what CAGR stands for. 21.9% each year until 2027. Uh, that is huge and by 2027 uh, that market is going to be worth 222 Point two five billion dollars, and it's it's valued at as a last year about forty six billion. So uh, that's a, that's a huge increase in the coming years, and uh, this is a huge market. And I fully believe that the stock could go anywhere, you know, a hundred to two hundred dollars easily, especially with 
you know, Warren Buffett, he normally only, he invests in, in, in companies long term, not short term. So if he believes that this company is 75 to $85 um, and he's willing to hold it for a long time, I think that that's a good sign definitely for this company and we could see some really, really great gains in the long term, very, very profitable. So let's go into the next one. I had some SPAQ stock uh, updates. Uh, this is one that I've been in for a while. I got in at about uh, 10 or $11 is actually my entry point. And we had some news. Let's bring up that article here. They actually just released uh, on Friday an SEC filing for basically having to do with the merger uh, that they're about to do. And I could see this one going huge on, on Monday and next week. I... I see this one by the end of September easily going 20 plus. I'm actually, if it takes a little bit more of a dip next week and the following week, I'm going to be buying up shares because I think that this is a no brainer, a 20 plus stock. Uh, there's a lot of big things going on and I will actually link it in the description below uh, my video that has, that goes over um, acquisitions and mergers. Uh, the next two stocks are ones that I'm actually already in and have been in for a while it kind of goes over more detail about what's going on with the stock and why i i'm super bullish on it there's been kind of a consolidation period the last few weeks and months uh so we're we're bound to have a breakout any day or any month now so i am truly believe that this one will will start to go especially when we get closer and closer to the merger date so Look at that one. Keep an eye out. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you are watching for next week. Are you in any of these stocks? Are you going to be making some good money? Give your su suggestions in the comments below. Even how your weekend was. Uh, I, I love to read those comments. Uh, I love the whole community as a whole. Uh, I love reading your guys' comments. I love to c uh, communicate with you. And we can always learn something from somebody else. And that is the key that I'm taking out of all this. I want to make a community where we can all... Uh, make money together. Uh, I'm not saying that I know everything because I'm definitely far from that. If we can all learn together, those are the benefits that are going to help the whole entire team in total. So, and, and this this channel is for educational and for us all to make money together and to build this community and to build a family. Next one I'm going to talk about is a stock ticker I've talked about before. Definitely too is LCA. Uh, this is another acquisition slash merger play with Golden Nugget. And we've actually had two things coming up. There was actually a tweet by a company that uh, they've actually opened up the casino to the public. So that's some pretty good news. I think uh, it was actually uh, yesterday. So we, we might be seeing a little bit of a run up. But then there's also articles out there that they're actually supposed to be dropping August numbers. I think that this one might tank a little bit next week. Uh, to be honest, but I think anything under 17 is a no-brainer to buy this. This one, I think, is 20 plus. I would even say 30, $30. I um, think that this stock is definitely worth it, especially with the gambling market. And like I said, I'm going to be a link in, uh, in the description below the video where I talk more in depth uh, of this one. Uh, they have had some really good numbers, but I don't think the August numbers are going to be very good, especially since we haven't seen a stimulus package. A lot of people have not had money. Uh, to be betting and gambling. Uh, I think we're going to see a little bit of a decline, but that's a perfect time to get in. Uh, so if this one does see a couple percentage dip, uh, I'm going to be picking up more shares for sure. And uh, we can possibly see a bounce back in uh, October or, or November for that one. So that's the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'm going to be going over a few other things. I got a few other videos in the pipeline. I'm going to go over long term and some other stocks I'm talking about. I'm going to possibly have a OTC uh, pink sheet video coming out soon. And uh, if the market's a little bit better tomorrow, I might even actually have a penny stock video also. So this week is going to be kind of crazy and we're going to see a lot of videos, I believe. Keep a lookout for those videos because there's going to be a lot in the pipeline. So if you enjoyed the video, if you could leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, that would be awesome. It really helps the channel out. That's positive feedback that uh, you guys like these videos and you, you like to uh, you know see me with this ugly mug on, on camera and that's always a positive so anyway 
If you want to follow me on any social media, I have my Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon in the description below. If you would like to uh, use any of my referral links, I have my uh, Robinhood and my Weeble in the description below. Also, with Robinhood, if you sign up using my referral code, you'll get a free stock, and so will I. And if you sign up for Weeble, you'll, you'll get a free stock, and if you deposit $100 within the first 30 days, you'll get another additional free stock, and so will I. Uh, and th that goes to really uh, support the channel and uh, to upgrade uh, my equipment and gear uh, to make these videos a little bit more uh, tolerable for everybody. And uh, it goes into more stock videos and I put 100% of everything I make back into these videos just based off of, um, you know, investing and everything. So I really, really appreciate all the kind words and everything that everyone's been saying lately. It's been very motivating and very awesome to see all that. I hope we have a fantastic week ahead of us, and I hope we're nothing but green and no red at all. You guys stay classy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Out. Yo.